Welcome back, everybody. We're at the Big Moon Arcade. We're still in the shop. And, uh, you know, I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to do a part seven here just because, uh, you know how I always say, if there's something interesting, I'm going to show it. And you know how, uh, if you watch the channel, you probably uh, have heard me say, you know, when you're doing this, <clears throat> there's always surprises. There's good surprises. We love those. And there's not so good surprises. Well, this is one of those. But we're working through it. And I wanted to show it to you. <clears throat> All right. Are you ready? Mmm. Yeah. We're talking about, people. This is the old tea molding. It ain't good. Um, somebody, you know, I'm not really sure whether I'm going to hunt them down and kill them. Or if I'm going to hunt them down and say, you did a heck of a job. Um, because they glued it in. All of it. All of it. They glued it in here. It's caused some problems, people. So when you take it out, it comes out like this. It's not good. That's not what it's supposed to do. Now, I got one piece out here. I thought that was really something. Like this big, long piece. That, that was it, okay? When I got this one out here a minute ago, and, and I was like, woohoo, here we go. And oh, uh, yeah, it's four inches. So, uh, but we've got all of it done here, except for, okay, we're looking good, except for, yeah, you can see what we got going here, people. <laughs> we're going to have to clean the, the shop when we're done. We've just got this little bit to go, and we'll have it all off. So, uh, and then we're going to put the new stuff on. So I thought, well, you know what, uh, we're going to do a little uh, video of it here and uh show it because uh what we're having to do is go in with a little pick and uh get it going and we're just busting out just like a literally just a little piece at a time is all we can get and uh so and we're trying real hard not to damage the groove because we would really love the new team molding to stick in there like it should um, but I'm sure it won't completely. So we're probably going to have to use a little hot glue in places to get it secure. So everything is cool, but, uh, Hey, we'll do what we got to do. We're almost there. Um, but, uh, it's unique. I I've never actually run into one quite like this before. T molding has always been easy. You know, I've probably done it on 20 machines. Not that many. I'm sure somebody has run into this before, but I haven't. And it's been a real downer, uh, but uh, you know, yeah, one little uh, bad surprise. Everything else with this machine pretty much just came along peacefully. And uh, I did, uh, I did get the lock fixed, so this is nice and sturdy now. Okay, got that all set up beautifully. Okay, looking like a boss. Got the original. Even got a couple quarters in there. Tested the mix. Everything's working good. Locks up nice and secure. So we got that all going. And uh, we're looking great. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish this up. And uh, we'll show it uh, when it's all done. So you can see what it looks like with... There's the team molding that's going on. The bright orange Pac-Man team molding. Awesome. So uh, we'll see you here in a bit. Well, people, there it is. Oh, man. We have installed the new team molding And it went surprisingly well. Um, the groove was very much intact, and the new team molding stuck in there very good. I did hot glue down the very ends here the very ends just to make sure they wouldn't come up same thing underneath where they cur curl over underneath the game um, but everything went very nice and 
you can see that it's back the way that it was 43 plus years ago looking very very much like it did back in the day so I wanted you to see it um, <laughs> look at the floor here we're gonna have to do some major cleaning in the shop that old tea molding was a dirty dog terrible um, <clears throat> but uh, we just had to take our time and chip away at it literally and now we're we're looking good so all right uh we're gonna dust it off and we're gonna bring it inside the house and uh set it up and uh let it uh live for a while inside where uh, we won't have to be in the garage anymore so seriously everybody uh one other thing thank you for coming along on this journey. This is the end of part seven. And today we hit 100 subscribers. You know, I started doing this just because, no particular reason, just because I love these old machines. I wanted to share it with some other folks. And uh, you know, it's just kind of grown into something special. And uh, you know, everybody that's watching uh, I appreciate that and I appreciate you uh, that have commented and joined the channel and I encourage uh, the others of you that are just now maybe finding us that you might join too and come along because you know what we're just doing this because we love all our arcade machines that's the only reason I've said it before I'll say it again there's no deep life subjects here but you know if you're between 40 and 55 years old, um, machines like this most likely had a place in your life as a child. And, uh, you know, that's uh, worth reliving. That's worth saving for most of us. And uh, it's one of the reasons we do it. It's one of the reasons we spend the time and the effort and the money and the, uh, you know, put our heart into some of this stuff. And uh, so that's as deep as I'm going to ever get here on the Big Men Arcade, people. But uh, thanks for coming along, whoever you are and wherever you are. Take care of your people. And we will look forward to the next adventure which I have planned out, by the way. But I'm not going to tell you now. But it's going to be really super cool. It's going to be kind of special, too. They're all special in their own way. So take care of those people in your life. And we'll see you all on the next video.